Hello, it's Mama here. In this episode of Thrifted Revamp, I'm going to turn this velvet dress into a bodysuit. I don't know about your experience with velvet, but mine has been slippery with lots of movement. Velvet also seems to have a very strong relationship with lint, so be ready for lots of that. Be sure to subscribe if you're new, and outfits will be at the end of the video. At first, I only wanted to shorten the dress and add some sleeves. But these two spots of discoloration were a no-go, so the bodysuit came into play. To maximize the fabric, I undid the hemming at the armhole. After unraveling the central threads, both of the straight stitches came right off. I made the armhole more fitted by adding a dart on either side. Instead of back stitching, I tied a double knot at the end of the dart. This will prevent puckering at the bust. I opened up the dress to trace out the armhole for the sleeve, which will be created from the fabric I had removed at the beginning. I lined up the shoulder seam to what was originally the side seam of the dress and made sure the ends of both armholes were level horizontally. I traced out both sleeves separately. Here, I'm taking measurements of the distance from the underarm to the shoulder to get a ratio between the front and back. My ratio was 3 to 4, with 3 being the front and 4 being the back. I'm going to apply the same ratio to the wrist so that the center seam runs straight down the arm. There's already seam allowance at the armhole, so I eased the allowance on the sleeve into it. At the wrist, I opened up just enough of the hem to sew the sleeve closed before folding the hem back in. Moving on to the body, I marked where I wanted the side of the bodysuit to end and traced out the bottom of an underwear. On the back, I extended the crotch by 2 inches and added seam allowance. It's finally time to put everything together. The dart created this awkward angle, but folding it down creates a nicer curve. I didn't want to alter the armhole anymore in case it changes the fit, so when I attach the sleeves, I'm going to capture just enough of this part to hide any raw edge. Another issue I ran into was these overstitch marks from the original hem. To hide them, I folded the seam towards the body and top stitched 1 8 of an inch from the seam. I tried to sew as close to the original marks as possible so everything blends in. To close the sleeves inside, I started at the armpit and sewed down the side.
Then I went back to my armpit and sewed along the sleeve. After everything was done, I replaced the stray stitching at the wrist. The crotch ended up being too short, so I extended it with the 4 inch strip. I hemmed the bottom with a zigzag stitch and folded it once. The end of the crotch gets a half inch fold and the rest gets one fourth of an inch. All that's left is to add the snap fasteners. I added three and that completes the revamp. One of the easiest ways to wear a bodysuit is to throw it under a skirt. To enhance the vampy feel of the burgundy color and velvet texture, I kept everything black from top to bottom. This time, I went in the opposite direction and tried for a more elegant look. The burnt orange brings out a warm undertone in the bodysuit. Adding a necklace in the same color palette creates a cohesive look overall. I hope you enjoyed! Like and subscribe for more videos, and I will see you next time! Bye!